time for upgrades. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove all the stock electronics, all of it. Motors, two ESCs, uh, receiver, and the plow servo. And all this wiring's going to, all of it's getting good. So let's get started. There you have it. It's completely gutted. That took me about uh, three minutes. <laughs> very simple design, very simple design. A uh, handful of screws, maybe half a dozen to a dozen screws. Pop them out, take it out. Uh, next thing is I'm going to show you what I bought. So I'm going to be powering the truck with one of my Zippy Packs 2200 3 cell LiPo. Uh, the mowers are going to be replaced with these guys, two uh, Latrax motors, and you can see the part number 7575X, these are 28 turn, uh, 370 size motors, Got two 18 tooth pinions, um, I'm a Spectrum guy, I use a Spectrum DX4S, 4 channel pistol grip uh, controller, remote, whatever. So I got a four channel receiver there. Idea being one channel may control the lights. Um, well, channel one and two will be the ES, the motors. Uh, channel three is going to be the plow and channel four may be lights to control the lights, turn them on and off. And I've got a Sabertooth ESC. It's a two by 12. And that, oh, and also for the um, plow, the Traxxas 2075, this came out of a Traxxas Summit that I have. Alright, so let's get this stuff installed. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my Sabertooth ESC installed and in order to do so um, I'm going to have to cut out some of this, these plastic bits and pieces in here and I'm going to pull out there's little foam padding things in there for the old ESCs and I'm going to pull those out, out as well. So for that I'm going to use a Dremel tool. So there I have, I used the Dremel tool to clean up all that extra plastic did my best to clean it up in there, like a little bit of glue residue left, but not much. And the idea here is, here's the saber tooth, and I've already hooked it up, and you can see here I really took some time and care to wrap these up very neatly, because what I'm going to do, is I'm going to mount this <clears throat> about right there with just double stick tape. And then if you look at the cover, the stock cover, it's got a hump. It just so happens that my ESC fits perfectly into that hump. And it's just dead nuts flush. So the idea here is I'm going to very carefully tuck all my wires in, have the um, receiver mounted up, double stick tape to the top here, and then that's going to go uh, down over top. And it'll probably take a little bit of doing to get everything to fit, but we'll see if we can get it to work. Alright, so off camera I put the Traxxas uh, 2075 servo in, waterproof servo, and one thing that was neat is that the spline count of the Traxxas and the Kyosho servers is the same, so I could use the same uh, servo horn, which is plastic, but works okay. Uh, and you can see how I tucked the wires in here and here, and this will um, close down nice and, nice and neat. So the next step is going to be our wiring for the motors. And what I'm going to use is 16 gauge silicone wire. I've got two pretty good lengths of it. And what I did is I cut using my Dremel tool right there. And there I cut two grooves and you clean that one up a little bit. Um, the wires for one motor will go out this groove onto this this motor over here 
and the other wires will come through and over here. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done and soldered up. Another thing to note is you'll want to, I'm gonna unsolder these and do my own, and you'll wanna reverse two of the leads on one of the motors to reverse the direction of it. Um, you can pick which one, doesn't matter, because you can swap the motors in here if you get it wrong. Uh, the other thing you could do is you could switch them on the terminals if you get if you want to keep them the same wiring. But I'm going to switch them on the motors and then have the this look right. That's what it ended up looking like. I just carefully routed my wires through these uh, grooves that I cut. And then they'll go down in there when I put the cap on of this cover. Let's power it up to see what, it's, see what it does. Got it set up already. This remote's already on. Alright. <coughs> it's about to get loud. <laughs> See, I think, I think it's going to be considerably faster. And man, this thing is really loud. And it's all hooked up uh, to this, and I'm using this switch back here, switch A for the plow. So if you turn it sideways. Raise it, and that lowers it. It's kind of slow. I'm gonna to try to find a way to speed it up. At this point, I've put that top cover back on. Works real nice. Everything's clean, somewhat protected. And I decided uh, before I go out with, you know, running it with a three cell, um, I'm going to ream that out. I'm going to have, I'm going to try it with the two cell first. I've got to do research. That thing, those, these motors were already getting hot just sitting here on the table. So I don't know what's going on. I'm going to test it out with a two cell and then a three cell. Yeah, it'll go up, eh? Wow, is it cold. It's only, uh, here in Ohio, it's only about seven degrees right now. Testing out the new Latrax motors, the new Sabertooth ESC. 